horizon or not? Joining us now, Dr. Robert Jeffress, senior pastor at the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Texas. Good to have you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. I have been on several television networks in the last few weeks about the conflicts that our nation is facing. And I'm disappointed that our media has not asked the critical questions when Pastor Jeffers, Pastor Jones, or Pastor Phelps say Islamophobic sentiments that Quran is evil, Islam is evil. I understand that, but I want them to substantiate it. The media has failed. It is very disappointing to see that none from the media has asked the question, what are those verses? What are those phrases and sentences that makes you say these things? Substantiated, Pastor. That has not been done. And I intend to do that through this video. I was interviewed by Fox Channel yesterday, and I was hoping my challenge to Pastor Jeffers would be shared with the public. It didn't get shared. I understand the time limitations, time constraints, but this is the biggest challenge I'm offering to Pastor um, Jeffers. It has never been done in the history of any religion. The challenge is very simple. I'm going to present you, Dr. Jeffers, a copy of the Quran translation. In your congregation, if you allow me, or to you in your privacy, whatever you prefer, and you can take 30 days or 90 days, find what you think is evil in Quran. If you do find it, this is my challenge. I will come to your ministry, work with you. If you don't find it, I'm not going to ask you to do anything more than simply asking you to do what Jesus has to do, to be a peacemaker. No American has to live with fear of the other nor should any American live in discomfort or anxieties. As Americans, we have to come together. And we are the foundation for pluralism. And the World Muslim Congress have taken the initiative to bring out educational programs where all of us Americans of different races, ethnicities, nationalities, sexual orientation, or religions come together and hone on these issues that divide us and understand and separate the myth from the reality and then look to each other as Americans and build a cohesive society for the peace and prosperity of every one of the 301 million Americans today. Okay. In recent weeks, a lot of people have been telling you what to think about Muslims. They say you should fear me, suspect me, hate me. But the truth is, I don't want to impose my faith on you. I don't want to take over this country. And I don't support terrorism of any form. Islam teaches me to respect all people, improve society, and stand up for justice for all. I am here and have been here for generations. Wanting the same thing you do. The chance to pursue life, liberty, peace, and happiness. I am an American. I am a Muslim. This is my faith. This is my voice. Yo soy americana, soy musulmana, esto es mi creencia, y esto es mi voz en paz. I'm an American. I am an American. I'm an American. I am 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 an American. I I I I am an American. I am an American. I am an American. I am American. I am America. I'm an American. I'm an American. I'm an American. 
I am an American. I am an American. I am an American. I am an American. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the flag. What do those words mean to you? To me, they say, Thank you, America, for your strength, for your courage, and for our freedom, which has been a beacon to the world for 200 years. Of the United States of America. Whose bright stars are 50 states, each bearing its own stamp of individuality. People, 200 million strong. People who have come to her from all corners of the earth. A land of laws with an ingenious system of checks and balances that allows no man to become a tyrant and lets no group prevail if their power is not tempered with a real concern for the government. A land where the right of dissent and free speech is jealously guarded, where the ballot box is the sword and the people its wielded. One nation under God. A land where freedom of worship is a cornerstone of her being. A land graced with temples and churches, synagogues and altars that rise in profusion to embrace all the religions of the world. Indivisible. A land forged by the hot steel and raw courage, and formed forever by the awful crucible of civil war. With liberty. Where a man in pursuit of an honest life will not be denied his chance. Where her citizens move freely within her vast borders without hindrance or fear. A land brimming with opportunity. Where freedom of choice is the guideline for all. And justice. The courts of our land are open to all. Its wheels of justice grind for all causes, all people. They look to every avenue for justice every concern of the law, and they temper their reasoning with mercy for all. Let me share you in nutshell about the conference on December 5, the Quran conference. We are, in a nutshell, we're going to pull all the terrifying passages of Quran, maybe 25 or 30. We'll put them all on the screen. And through audience participation, we are going to narrow down to 10 verses, words or phrases or sentences from Quran that seem to bother some people. We're going to narrow it down to 10 so we can do it all in two hours time. That is all we want to do. And we will have 10 panelists sitting across the table from the Baptist minister to the Catholic uh, bishop to the Mormon president and um, Presbyterian Methodist, Hindu, Sikh and we're trying to get 10 different denominations and I do hope, I do hope we can get hold of Congressman Pete Sessions or Eddie Bernice Johnson. I'm making an effort. I want these 10 people to be on the panel. Then the Imams, our respected Imams, will share with you about those 10 verses, not a lecture, but the methodology of reading those verses from the Quran. What that verse means. For example, kill the infidels wherever you find them. You find that verse troublesome by in itself. So the Imams will explain to the panelists how to go about reading those. Then let's say Pastor George Mason from the Wilshire Baptist Church as an example. He will open the Quran, look at that verse, and then for the methodology to get the whole picture, he will read 
three verses before, three verses after. And then he will explain to the audience and to the other members present what he understood by that. It has two consequences. One, either he understood like as Muslims have understood it, or he may not understand. So the issue might be the translation itself, the way it has been written in Old English. It may be difficult to understand, so that puts a burden on us Muslims to figure out how to retranslate correctly. So no matter who goes to a bookstore, picks up a copy of the Quran, opens the page, and reads the exact same way as we do. Of course, people interpret differently. But here, a collective effort as an Americans is being made to see where they are. And then, if, if Pastor Mason understood it right, then we will ask the audience two questions for a feedback, which our Imams and perhaps I will address answer. Once everybody is, understands what it is, then we go to the next verse and we repeat that for the nine verses or nine sentences. I hope a lot of myths will be clarified. Bring all the things that you think are difficult in Quran or in Islam. We will narrow it down to 10. And uh, God willing, someday we can have an all day conference to address every verse. I have received over 60 such sentences and I have put them all on QuranToday.com. Q U R A A N Today.com. I have addressed, but we are going to address 10 specific sentences at the conference. I hope that we all come together with an open mind and an open heart to learn and remove the myths, remove the ill will towards other Americans. We're going to continue this series with other issues. Thank you very much. Please do join us on December 5 at the Unity Church on Forest Lane between Hillcrest and Preston Roads between 3 to 6 p.m. December 5 and look up the website for details QuranConference.com or you can Google K-O-R-A-N Conference Q-U-R-A-N Conference or Q-U-R-A-A-N Conference and you will find it on Google. There should be a lot of entries on that. But this event is happening right here in Dallas. Thank you very much.